Hi guys, today I'm here to film a bit of a collective haul. Um, I went shopping today which inspired the haul, but I have picked up a couple of bits and pieces I wanted to show you anyway. So the couple of random bits and pieces I picked up was I picked up the Napoleon Purtis China Doll Gel Eyeliner in Alabasta. How do you say that? That's really bad, hey. It's the white one anyway. So it looks like this. It's quite a small tub. Um, 3.4 grams. And it just looks like this. I have attempted to use it, but not really. So I can't give you any reviews on this product yet. But I will do. I'm just getting my makeup mojo back after having a lot of stress going on. And yeah, so... I'm just getting back into my makeup mojo and I'm really excited to start using my makeup again. The next thing I picked up was the Remmel London Lash Accelerator Endless Growth Lash Complex Plus Fibre Mascara, which looks like this. I have used this. I use this every day, except today, because I basically just put makeup on to film. I absolutely love the brush. I find with this mascara, if you pair it with like an individualing, individually, individualing, how would you end up in the, you know, the one that like separates all the lashes, okay? I obviously can't say individually. <laughs> um, yeah, if you pair that, I have lipstick on my teeth. If you pair that with, you put the individual, that one on first and then you apply this one, I can really notice the difference. But when I apply this one by itself, it doesn't have such a big effect. <coughs> Sorry. Next, as well, on a random shopping trip, I picked up one of the lip lacquers from Remmel London, however you say that big word there. And this is in number 100 Phenomenon. And it's just a neutral nude colour. I've worn this once, and I love the colour, but I can't really give a opinion on the longevity once, because then I went out and, you know, when you're not paying attention, when I give you a review on something on how something long something last I really want to tell you <coughs> oh my god what is wrong with me I really want to tell you how long it lasts and I can't tell you so you have to wait for future videos for that one next I picked up I went to a um, Japanese dollar store I found one outside of Australia Fair so I went in there and we picked up a couple of goodies. I just got some of these like little containers because they're so hard to find. And you know when you like want to give someone some makeup to try, you you feel bad giving them a big container with a little bit of makeup in it. But yet that little bit of makeup will last them and it will give them an idea on how the product works. But yes, yeah, so I picked up the little containers. Then I picked up a big powder puff. I, I like this when I'm putting makeup on other people to rest on their face and things like that. That's what I picked that one up for. And then I picked up a couple of pairs of lashes. Two pairs. So I picked up these ones. Everything I got was $2.80 by the way. So I picked up these ones. And I picked up these ones. These ones are a bit more dramatic and spiky. And these ones kind of reminded me of Demi Wispies which is why I got those. That's all I picked up from there. Then I went to Priceline and I picked up, what did I pick up? I picked up another, oh my God. They're in exactly the same color. Damn it, I'm gonna have to take that one back. That's all right, I think I've got the receipt here. Priceline. Yep, I'll take that one back. Okay, so I got two of the same colour. Can you tell how much I like the colour? The next thing I picked up was a Remmel London um, lip liner in 30 neutral. So it's just this colour here. And then I picked up the Mega Plush Volumising Mascara. Which just looks, I got it in blackest black, which just looks like this. Okay, I'm a sucker for packaging. I loved the colours of this packaging. That's why I picked it up. So I picked up those. 
I can't believe I picked up the same colour. And then on to today's haul. So, first of all, I went to Lush because I'd run out of bath bombs, bubble bars, everything. So, I picked up the Comforter Bubble Bar. This is a repurchase. I absolutely love this. And you can get like four or five bar, like good baths out of one of these. And these are like $8. I can't remember exactly. Then I picked up another Blackberry Ballistic Bath Bomb, Holy Grail repurchase. And then I picked up the Dorothy Bubble Bar to try. Now this one's quite small and the chick told me that I could get like four baths out of this. So I might try the first time putting like a quarter in and see how I go. But it's just like, it's literally that, I don't know, we'll see how we go. If you want to know how I go with that, comment below. Then I went to Priceline again. I picked up the Maybelline New York BB Cream with for oily skin with a 2% salicylic acid. I brought this hoping to use it as an under makeup base to try stop the oiliness because it's got the salicylic acid in it. Then I picked up, because they were half price, so they're pretty random, but you know, not really beauty related, some nail clippers and a blackhead remover. And then the last two things I picked up were some of the new Maybelline colour tattoos. I got Barely Branded, which is a nice neutral shimmer colour. And then I picked up Electric Blue, which is this beautiful, I don't know if you're going to be able to see it because of that blasted lighting, this beautiful darkish blue colour. I'll see if I can do that, see if that helps, because I know this lighting really washes out colours. So I hope you can see that. I'm really excited to try these. There's, there's a pinkish coloured one as well that I really want to get. So I'm going to go for it tomorrow. And hopefully I'll take that one back at the same time. And last three products is another repurchase of the MAC Brush Cleaner. Another one of those. I go through these like there's no tomorrow. But I love them. I haven't found another brush cleaner that works. Now, as a recommendation, I got a cleanse off oil, matte cleanse off oil to remove my makeup before I wash it. And it just, if I can get it out, okay. looks like this. The bottle's plastic, I thought it was glass, that's okay. Um, so I've got the cleanse off oil, and then today I also did the back to MAC. And I picked up a lipstick and I got Girl About a Town because we all know the lovely Tavar rocks this lipstick all the time and I'm sure I'm not going to be able to do it anywhere near as her but it was one of the back to max and I just had to get it. So that just looks like that. So I'm really excited about that. So that is my complete haul. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give me a thumbs up if you like hauls. I personally know I love watching haul videos. I know some people hate them. Um, yes, yeah, so if you haven't already, subscribe, leave me an ear in it. Uh, seriously, oh my God. Can you tell it's like, oh my God, it's only 8.30. 8.30 at night. That's my excuse and I'm sticking to it. Um, yeah, so please leave any comments or questions below and I'll see you next time. Bye. I'm glad to be back.